Hello and welcome to another video on this series from Rogue Legacy 2. We're going to be talking about the Assassin class with uh, Sir Caleb. Okay, uh, This class has less health, of course, like any Assassin or Thief class. And it has okay amounts of mana. That has Dual Blade, which attack three times. Creating a good DPS for the class. As long as you don't get hit, of course. And also we have the talent which is uh, Obscura. Obscura, which makes you transparent, so enemies cannot hit you. And the problem is that it recharges on hit. So as you can see, this is probably one of the most fun classes to play once you get the hang of the game because of how fast you can kill everything, how fast everything goes. You can get many chests really quickly. Although I have a trait that is a uh, Dysprasia, which makes everything go flying out of my reach, which is pretty annoying, but it gives you 35% more uh, gold. So, well, as long as you can, as long as you get to the gold, you can, you get that 30%. As you can see, even high level enemies like that one doesn't last too long. You just have to be a little bit mindful because you are not the strongest. As you can see. But nonetheless, this is not a class to go slow. It's not a class like the Ranger, where you go slowly killing enemies and taking care of everybody from far away. This one you have to be on their faces, but at least makes it for a fun run. Similar to the Valkyrie. Oh. Again, it's not the easiest class to use, more than anything because of the HP you get. If you get a good spell, um, it's much easier. In this case, we didn't get much. We'll come back to this one later when we need more HP. Stop that. And that's pretty much the assassin. Again, pretty fun um, class you can unlock pretty early in the game. And as you can see, we can just take care of most of the enemies right away, which is pretty fun. But okay, so that's the idea on the on the assassin. When you go transparent, as you can see, people don't hit you, which is pretty good for some. I mean, it is good when you get completely surrounded, like when you go into some of the into some of the challenging rooms and things like that, or in a room that is completely swarmed with enemies or with the fairy chest. You can just get that reposition and continue fighting. Like I said, you have to be on their faces, but that doesn't mean you have to go in between of everybody. And that's how this class plays. I hope you like the explanation and uh, hopefully you pick it up and hopefully you like it. See you on the next video. Thank you for watching.